Next is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on June 11, 1974, in Paris, France. Another point that in the Bible, Christ, Lord Christ says that, My Lord, Thy be hallowed. What is that? Hallowed be Thy name. So God has name. God Father has name. Hallowed be Thy name. So He admits God has His name, but it may be that He did not disclose or did not like to say, but there is already name. So it is up to the followers to know what is that name. One of the Ten Commandments, Sri Prabhupada, is that one should not take the name of God in vain. And they argue that when we chant the holy name, they say you are chanting, chanting, chanting all the time, that this is taking the name in vain. Why vain? Don't you find the difference between you and me? Why it is vain? Don't you find what is the difference between you and me? Do you think that I am a foolish man? Oh. That I am chanting Krishna, Krishna without any profit. So you can think because you are a rascal, but I know my business. Yes. This is the play, like that. Last night when you gave him the example hmm. that the father is beyond the experience of the child, yes. at that point he stopped arguing. Yes. <laughs> yes. And mother is the only evidence, that's all. Similarly, achinta khalidi bhava natas tatkena jujayat. Kastra says, if it is beyond your experience, you don't argue on that point. You go to the authority and take it. Why you should you argue? It is beyond your experience. Therefore, you must find out who can give you the experience. That vigyana and thamsa guru may be vachya. But don't stop there. It is beyond my experience. Therefore, I should not have experience. This is foolishness. If it is beyond your experience, then go to a person who has got experience and take from it. Suppose if I am in this part, I do not know which way to go. It is beyond my experience. Then I ask one gentleman, how shall I go? Please say, Please go this way. This is the way. Why should you stop and think others also that God is beyond his experience? Why? It may be beyond your experience, but that unless you go to a person who has got actually experience, how can you get the experience? How can one remain humble? Huh? How can one remain humble in executing his devotional service? Yes, if he thinks himself that I am non-entity, helpless, then he can remain. If he thinks I can do something, I have so much intelligence, then he cannot become humble. Just like, <coughs> don't come. In. Uh, just like child. He is humble always, because he knows that I am completely helpless. Unless Mother helps me, I am complete. Therefore, whenever he is in need of something, he cries, Mother, help me. This is helpless. Uh, this is helplessness. Uh, all is. Katpanna. This is one of the items of surrender. Unless you think yourself, Helpless, you cannot surrender. Surrender is complete when you think yourself that you are helpless. I am helpless, but because I am surrendered to Krishna, He will save me. This 
faith also must be there. That although I am helpless, or not although I am factually helpless, but because I am surrendered to Krishna, I am no danger. He will help. Protect me. People often argue that uh, they don't understand how they can have faith if they don't understand God. Huh? They don't. They don't see how they can have faith if hmm. they have no knowledge of God. And they argue, "Well, I don't know God, so how can I have faith in Him?" You learn from me. <laughs> I'm your spiritual master. You tell him. You are asking me. Why you are asking me? Huh? What is? Why you are asking me? Well, it's just giving an argument. People. The argument that's all right. Why you are asking me? For knowledge. Huh? For knowledge. So take knowledge from me. That's what you tell me. Yeah. Otherwise, why you are asking, wasting your time and my time? If you are asking, you take knowledge from me. Mm. Is that all right? Yes. Yeah. Shri Prabhupada, is there some gradual development in all those nine processes of devotional service beginning from hearing? Yes. The chanting and hearing should be in the association of devotees. First of all, one must have faith that chanting is good. Then he should chant in the society and the devotees. Then it will develop. He can chant anywhere, but if he chants along there was Sankirtan, Bhavi Militva, many devotees chanting together, that is called Sankirtan. So our, our movement is Sankirtan movement. Uh, many devotees together would chant the holy name of God. Then it is very quickly successful. <coughs> it's like a person who comes to our center in the association of the devotees. After a few weeks he also becomes devotee. Quickly. Uh, and there are many others that are seeing that there is a group like this, but because they do not come, they do not understand. Therefore, the quick development process is to uh, execute devotional service in the association of people. Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastrika. Lavamatra sadhu sangha sarva siddhi ha. Chaitanya Mahapurusha. The sadhu sangha, <coughs> association of the body, is very, very important. Even for a moment, if there is association, he immediately comes to the path of perfection. So if you actually remain sadhu, devotee, then anyone who will come with your association, he will be perfect by association. But if this uh, process of perfection will begin immediately. Don't compromise. Then you associate with him. If you make compromise, then you associate with him. Then gradually you will also go down. When we when we see some person, we do not associate with him, but we give him chance to associate with me. Why you should make compromise? What is the reason? If you know 
something positively. Why should you make compliments? When people come to talk with me, see me, I don't make any compromise. Do I make any compromise? No. Then Never. why shall I make compromise? That gentleman, Mr. Harvard, Gene Harvard, yes. he said that it, it has taken 18 years to write this book. I said, still there are so many mistakes. Immediately, he said. And he could not say anything. Do you remember that? Yes. Immediately, I said, yes, you have lived 18 years. But still there are so many mistakes. Anyone else would have said, oh, very nice. Huh? Anyone else would have said, yeah, oh, I did not nice. <laughs> <laughs> He said that morning, what can we do, Prabhupada? Huh? He said, what can we do with you? We do not compromise, we will make enemies. Huh? No, and you will not compromise, at the same time you will not make enemies. That is tactics. Hmm. Yeah. If you make enemies, then what is your tactic? He must speak the truth at the same time he will not be displeased. That is tactic. If you can defeat him by your argument, then he will not be displeased. After all, everyone is human being. If he can find out his defect, why he shall be enemy. Therefore, it is said, you better make a reasonable man an enemy, but don't make a friend fool. Don't make friendship with a fool. But if a man is intelligent, better make him an enemy. Because, because he is intelligent, although he is an enemy, he will not do any harm, because he is intelligent. Uh, but a fool, he may pose himself as friend, and he can't do anything which is very harmful. So we should be able to see the quality of man we are preaching to. Yes, we have to make him intelligent. Everyone is fool. Murha. Everyone within this material world is supposed to be a fool. Because everyone is thinking, I'm this body. So he's fool. He's thinking in a way what he is not. Therefore, he's a fool. All these big, big uh, political leaders, Napoleon, Hitler, Churchill, and here of the part, with this concern, I'm Englishman, I'm German, I'm Frenchman. That's all. Even the big, big leaders, they are fools, and not to speak of common men. Sri yeah. in the United States, mm. there, are, there are something called minority groups. Mm. Minority group means like the, like the Irish or the Negroes. They are also fools. They are not fools. They are minority fools. Minority fools? Yes. Because uh, he's thinking I'm Irishman. Yes, but their, their point is even if we are spirit soul, we are still being exploited because we are a small number. Huh? So we must band together to But you are people. exploited always. Why do you blame this man or that man? You are being exploited by Maya. Where is your position of freedom? You say, well, Maya, we cannot fight, but we can fight the government. Why should we fight? If you cannot, if you suppose you cannot, can you fight with death? Maya has, a, Maya has imposed upon you death. Fight with Maya, that there will be no death. And that you cannot do. So you are always what is called defeated. Hmm. Uh, that is your position. Devi Jai Sagunamai Omaadhuratta. The best thing is surrender to Krishna for protection. That is one. We don't think minority. Uh, 
Suppose Hare Krishna people, how many there are in the Paris city? How many? Seventy, eighty. So we are not sorry that are minority. What is the insignificant? Don't take a talk of minority. But we are not sorry. Minority, majority, all these are foolishness. The whole platform is uh, mistaken. Actually, Sri Prabhupada, the scientists say that the life, life first came from the water. Mm-hmm. They say, the, sci- the scientists say that life first came from water. Mm-hmm. <coughs> in the beginning, there were one-celled creatures that were that were formed from chemicals in the, in the water. And that we also say, fly up uh, these other, because the whole uh, planet was submerged in water. So, the, there was life in water, aquatics, fishes. Uh, that is not very new thing. You know it. I have a question about evolution. Hmm. Uh, our position is that all the species have been established by Krishna even before creation. But yet, in the creation, it, is t- it comes about through an evolutionary process. Yeah. So, uh, ev- the fact that evolution is existing is a, it's a fact, but it does not exist independent of the fact that Krishna created it. And he established it. It's not something that developed independently. When Brahma creates different species, they're not created one at a time. All over the universe there's different species which he creates. Brahma is created first. So he does not belong to the species immediately. He is a demigod. So why is the question of evolution? Yeah. So you understand? Brahma is created first, so it's not that we started from one-celled animals and worked up to Brahma. But on a particular planet, does, is it like that? Everywhere. Are, are, the, are the sophisticated... In the material world. The human beings are there from the very beginning on the earth, too? Mm-hmm. Their beings are already there, everywhere. But you said it was all submerged in water. That's all right, but he's there. Suppose if you live within the water, does it mean that you are not existing? No, but generally human, human beings. species. Huh? The human does the human species come huh? with the gradual evolution, or is the human cre- species created first? No, in the creation, according to your karma, huh. as you stop your activity in the last creation, hmm. huh. it, is, it, 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 it is just like uh, it is called sukta man. The man is sleeping. And when he awakens, he immediately remembers what I have to do. So the annihilation means all living entities sleeping. And as soon as there is creation, again they begin from the point where they last, lost their life. That's it. The same example. That when you go to sleep, you have a standard of thinking, and as soon as you are awakened, the same standard of thinking again begins. From the point where you slept and when the akun again begins from that point. It is like that. So when Lord Brahma created this planet, did he immediately put all the species in? Oh, why immediately? It doesn't matter immediately. But the living entities come to their new formation of life in that way. So Sri the Prabhupada, the the living entities, when they come out of the body of Mahavishnu, they... The Mahavishnu's body, they simply rest during the annihilation. That's all. But then during the creation, the scientists say at the beginning there was no human life on this planet. The scientists are rascals. What they know? There is no human being. Why not hear it? They reprimise human being. Then you reject the Vedic conclusion. You take this rascal scientist conclusion. No, of course 
Then now you can say. But, but where were the those spirit souls who were going to take the form of a human being before the human species became manifested? Uh, that's species. just on this planet, but on other planets there's human species. Uh, what is that? Uh, his, his argument is that scientists say that at the beginning there may have been only uh, lesser developed forms of life. No, we don't. Or was there that. always humans on this we planet? We say the highest developed. Brahma, he is a sub creator. He is not a lesser intelligence. He is as good as God. But on this planet, let us say, for example. And this planet or any planet. Sure. That is the system. This planet from the very beginning there were human beings. Huh? On this planet from the very yeah. beginning. Yeah. Brahma is. Yeah. The Brahma created so many sons. The Kumaras came out, the Rudra came out, he gradually created. So actually the uh, creation goes just the other way. Huh? First of all, Brahma, the greatest yeah. living being. And no, then... creation is simultaneous. The Brahma then created ants and birds and bees and everything. Uh -huh. It's all simultaneous. Scientists are very great rascals. We should defeat them. See? Actually, you're the only one that has the courage to do that today. Huh? You're the only one that has the courage to defeat these rascals. Everyone else is surrendering to them. <laughs> because I know, on the background, there is Krishna. 